Mass and MassDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics Lesson 32 is on construction and this is part 1 of Lesson 32. So we've got several constructions to look at. Bisecting a line, that means cutting in half exactly. Constructing an angle of 60 degrees. Bisecting an angle. And constructing an angle of 30 degrees. Bisect the line AB, that means cut it in half. Now if you actually measure it with the ruler and say that's 13 centimetres or something like that and half that's about 6 and just mark it, you'll get no, no marks at all for that. To bisect a line you must use a pair of compasses and not measure with a ruler at all. And the way we do it is, you open the compasses to any distance you like, as long as it's more than halfway. Now you can guess more than halfway quite easily, that'll do. So you open the compasses to more than halfway, you stick it in one end of the line, draw an arc, keep the radius the same, and stick it in the other end, and draw an arc. If you now draw a line through where those two arcs have crossed, you have effectively bisected the line. In an exam, these arcs must be really clear, dark rather than faint, because the examiner will give you marks for seeing how you have constructed, and that's the key word, construct, means use a pair of compasses. Constructed the bisector of AB. This line going through here is called the bisector of AB because it cuts AB exactly in half, and it cuts it in half at right angles. That's worth no noting as well. Let's do that again, just to rub the point in, because it is very easy. Bisect the line x, y in half. If you do it by measuring, you get nothing. Open the pair of compasses to more than halfway. It doesn't matter as long as it's more than halfway. Keep the compass at the same radius when you stick it in the other end and draw another arc, and if you now draw a line through where those arcs intersected, you have bisected the line in half, and you have bisected it in half at right angles. In other words, this bit to there is the same as this bit to there. Construct an angle of 60 degrees. Now, as with the previous question, if you measure, and in this case with a protractor, 60 degrees, you'll get no marks at all. No marks at all. If you're going to construct, means you have to use a pair of compasses. It's very simple, this construction. Just draw a line, any length doesn't matter. Open the compasses to any radius, it doesn't matter. Stick it in the end of the line. Draw an arc. As long as it cuts through the line and it's more than 60 degrees, Keep that raised, whatever you do, don't change it, so it won't work. Sit the compass point in there, and then draw another arc. And believe it or believe it not, you will find that that is 60 degrees in there. As I mentioned earlier, these arcs must be clear to the examiner, because that's what you're getting your marks for, for constructing it. Now let's look at bisecting an angle. In other words, cutting in half exactly. So we're going to bisect the angle A, B, C. Bisect this angle. And off we go again. Any radius whatsoever. Draw an arc. Now you can change the radius now, but there's no need to. As long as when you put the compass point in there and you draw an arc, you don't change the radius when you go over there and draw an arc. So as far as I'm concerned, you might as well leave it the same all the time. Draw an arc from there, then one from there, and then one from there. And that cuts the angle exactly in half. It bisects it. If you measured it, you'll find that bit the same size as that. I've not done that terribly accurately. That should have gone through there. So it's a little bit out. But there you go. I'd get full marks because the examiner can see my construction. And that's what he's after seeing. Do that one again, just to rub it in. Bisect the angle X, Y, Z. Open the compasses to any radius whatsoever. Compass point in the vertex of the angle. 
think the radius is, is in there. Can you see that? I'm sure you can actually. And then put it in there and draw another arc. And where the arcs cross, that line is the bisector of that angle. Let's cut that angle in half and that bit will be the same angle as that bit there. And to finish with, construct an angle of 30 degrees. That's what I said we do. So, first off you construct an angle of 60 degrees. So just draw a line somewhere, that will do. Any radius in there. And then up there. Didn't make it long enough, did I? Although it's any radius, it's got to be long enough. So therefore, that is the 60 degrees we saw earlier. That is 60 degrees. We've now got a bisected. So we do what we did on the bisecting of angles. Any radius, it might as well be that one again. Stick the compass in there. Stick the compass one in there. And that was 60. You have now bisected it. So you have now got half of 60, which is 30 degrees. There you are constructions, basic constructions. And the whole point is to construct, you must be using a pair of compasses. And you must leave your arcs so they're nice and clear for the examiner to give you your marks for. Lesson 32, Constructing, Part 1.